All right, so here is some baits that I've been pouring. I'll run through them. Got some lion electric chickens and ball tails. Chartreuse electric chickens. These are the chartreuse. Those are the limes, ball tails. This one is the blow pop. It's a white grub with red pearlescent around it and it's got a pink encapsulated interior. I completely surrounded the pink. It's completely inside the bait there. I put a little pink in the tail just to give it a little, just to give it a little kick, kick down that way. Let me get that guy back in there. I just pulled these guys, so I gotta make sure they set up. Gotta give them a little bit. So there's some more blow pops. These are green pumpkin backs, gold fleck. These are more redfish baits. Some with some chartreuse veins in them. Some have some uh, gold veins in them. You can kind of see the gold vein in that. Some more pumpkin backs, gold. This is a scupper nog back, white belly, little chartreuse tail, scupper nog. That's light scupper nog, darker scupper nog. This is a scupper nog back with black feck, bronze belly, and some more in, those are 4.1 wiggly tails, ball tails, Shad tails. Got some more up here. These have a red fleck in them. In the scupper dog red fleck. These are 4.1 wigglies. 3.4 shads again. This is a light gray back with a black and gold fleck. Chartreuse belly. Chartreuse and red fleck in the tail. Got those guys, and I got a whole bunch of them right over here. And then I got some more electric chickens with chartreuse bellies, 3.4 shads, some purples. This is kind of like Mardi Gras with a um, copper vein in it right there. Some little copper vein in there. And then I've got a whole bunch of those other ones that I poured. That's that gray back with the gold and black fleck. Ball tails, electric chickens. These are those dark gray back ball tails with a little bit of chartreuse in the tail, some of them. Those are 4.2 ball tails, 3.8 ball tails, and then there's some more shad tails. Kind of a light gray back. Chartreuse red, chartreuse belly. These are some more of those because I like to pour them. I thought they looked good. These are some naturals that I poured. Uh, that's a earthworm back. That's a gray back with a pink vein. This is a brown shrimp back, they call it. It came out really a light gray. I really like that. I'm trying to make a croaker pattern after this. Got that in shad tails and ball tails. I got a couple of swim baits, 4.5, uh, 4.8 and 5.2s in the wiggly tails and the shad tails back there. Some more, there's gray and chartreuse. I thought that was gonna be a killer. A couple more blow pops. Those are gonna be unbelievable. These are some that I poured today, kind of a gold a clear back with a gold and black fleck belly a uh, white belly with some red pearl in it and then little chins some little pink chins on those guys those are just a little more without the chartreuse as addition to it uh, those are in wiggly tails 4.1 wigglies some more wigglies with that scupper knock with the red some grape with some grape in it. There's some more blow pops. If you don't know about blow pop, you better look it up. Because that's a good one. 
And that's gonna be a good one too. That one right there for trout. That's a good trout bait. Along with that is gonna be a good trout bait too. That's gonna be a good one too. Kind of a darker gray back, white belly with a little chin on it. And then the chartreuse tail, 3.4 shads all the way around so you can kind of see how many I got there. And yeah, I'm using the wife's cooking wear. And then we've got these guys down here, some black and gold clear back scupper dog with reds uh that's clear with black fleck same white red pearlescent belly with a little you can see the put a little pink chin on them right there you can kind of see it a little pink chin did those in ball tails 4.2s and 3.8s got some purples some more clears purples have a purple flake in it then i got some more shad tails back here Scuppernog, there's that clear with the gold. Probably be a really good redfish bait, I'm thinking. There's that gray. And there's a few of them in the ball tail. All right, so all these baits are out. Got quite a few. These are for sale. Just, you know, hit you up with a message. And we'll go from there. But if you don't know about that blow pop, you better go look that one up. That's a big Texas bait. All right, thanks guys.